Hello everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts and today I'm going to be uh, making a pouch um, and this is one of my um, compact mirror pouches and I know you guys have seen me make these before. This one I'm going to be using, um, I'm, I'm actually going to be adding some regular fabric to this pouch and you'll see um, how it's going to look but this is one of my other pouches and here it holds um, whoopsie it holds this compact mirror that I made I make these compact mirrors and then I generally I sell them with uh, a pouch um, normally it's my handmade pouches some of them go with a drawstring pouch that is one that I purchase um, for a while there that was kind of all I was doing was the drawstring pouches but then I started bringing back my handmade pouches uh, because they're just so pretty and they just look really nice with these compact mirrors so this is what they look like this one's good that we're gonna make today is gonna be a little bit different um, in that it's uh, I'm using some different stuff so I'm gonna show you some of the items that I'm gonna be using today um, I will be using, let me move this stuff aside here, I will be using some of my, um, this is basically called a corduroy felt, you can see it's got lines in it. This kind of felt makes it easy to cut, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, makes it easy to cut a straight line because you can just go along with the lines in the fabric. Um, it comes in this size and these I bought at Joann's. Um, it comes in a 9 by 12. This is, oops, this is the sticker that comes on the felt. Um, 9 by 12, and it says up there, it says um, corduroy. So, just so that you know, I think Joann's is discontinuing this felt, but I do believe you can get it at... Um, Hobby Lobby, I think, sells it, and possibly even Walmart. I'm not sure, but you might go there and check it out. Uh, you can check out Michael's. I'm not exactly sure where you can get the corduroy, but if you can't get the corduroy felt, that's okay. Just use regular, you know, plain old felt like this one here is just a plain white felt uh, piece that I cut off of a, a sheet that I bought at Joann's. Um, so you can go either way and these come in all different colors as you can see. I'm not going to be using this brown I just wanted to use this as an example of the size That it comes in which is a 9 by 12 and generally <clears throat> What I do is I cut this down the middle and I use one half for one and one half for the other and then there's usually a small amount of cutoff so we're going to be using this black piece today and the reason I'm going to use black is this um, pouch is going to cover this compact mirror that I made. And this mirror has, um, of course, you can see all of the red bling. And it also has a black background that I did in, um, it's just black, like black rhinestones in the background. But it's black and red. So this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this as my base. And then I'm going to be using this fabric to put over the top of it. And this is the, diff the, the change that I'm doing to this one. I usually don't use regular fabric, but I'm going to change it up a little bit, add this fabric over the top of this, and make it a little bit different. So um, then I'm going to be using, um, you're, you're going to need your glue gun. And make sure you have a couple of standby glue sticks. Um, I use the Gorilla Hot Glue. So that's what I always have in my stash. Um, and I will put a link down below in the drop down menu. If you don't have Gorilla Hot Glue or if you'd like to purchase some, I purchase it on Amazon. And um, I will give you that link. And we're going to use some of these. These are fascinator dots, or fastener dots, I should say, fascinator. Um, and these are just little dots. They're Velcro, and they give you both sides the soft side and the crispy side <laughs> with the loops so we are going to be using that today and we will need some scissors so that you can cut out your pieces of fabric I've already cut these out to the size that I want this is one half of one of the sheets 
and this I just laid over the top and I did a general uh, a fussy cut around it. This is actually bigger than this, but I did that on purpose. Um, and then we're also going to be using this amazing lace that I got from Kiki's Sale on Facebook. And the lady that does Kiki's Sale is a friend of mine. Her name is Debbie Cottrell. And on Saturday nights, almost every Saturday night, um, occasionally she takes a Saturday off, she will have a sale um, where she sells um, lace and bling and um, she sells this kind of stuff too. Um, and just beautiful, beautiful things that you can use in your crafts. And um, I'm usually there every Saturday night just to check out what she's got for sale and see if there's anything that I need. Um, and trust me, most of my bling and lace is from um, Kiki's sale. So this one in particular, I know she's going to have it in her next sale. And I have a ton of this because I use it a lot in my pouches and I also use it when I, um, when I alter um, uh, boxes and things. I will usually use some lace around the outside of my boxes and I don't have one to show you right now because I have sold all of the boxes that I used this on. <laughs> um, they sell really quickly. And I think I've sold them all. Yeah, yeah, I don't have one over there. I'm looking over in my my stash. Um, I also have an Etsy shop where I sell everything that I make. Um, occasionally something I make will be a gift for somebody, a friend or a family member. But for the most part, um, I do sell all of my items in my Etsy shop. So I will also include that uh, link in my drop down menu. If you'd like to have a look at my store and see if there's something there that you might be interested in. Um, I know Christmas is coming, so um, there's lots and lots and lots of great stuff in my store for uh, Christmas, things that you can buy for your, your daughters and your sisters and your mothers and all those great people um, that you want to buy something, you know, really unique and pretty. Um, I'm sure you'll be able to find something in that shop. It's full of goodies and a lot of it is full of bling and all kinds of other stuff so anyway um so we're going to be using this we're going to be using this lace and um we're going to be using some bling now these are just some pieces um from my stash that i took out um that everything here is from kiki's sale everything right there in this pile. This is a little piece that I got at a little local store, um, local to me, that um, I was able to pick up there. But outside of that, the rest of this is all from uh, Debbie's shop, Kiki's Sale. And I'm not sure which of these I'm gonna use. I always, when I do these projects, I take out several items. This is a green, sorry about the crinkle, guys. This is a green butterfly with um rhinestones and i thought actually against the red that might be really really pretty so i may just use that um butterfly as well and then i also have these which i also got from um, kiki's sale and they are just small um embellishment pieces and they're a little flat bat flat back. Um, they don't have anything on the back of them. I don't know if you'd call them flat back, flat back buttons, but um, they don't have anything that you would need to cut off on the backs of them. So these are really, really pretty, sparkly, and they've got pearls and rhinestones and the acrylic roses in the center. So I may use one or two of those. And... I think that's all we need you guys to get started on this. So um, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started and start um, putting this thing together. So the first thing that we're gonna do, again, these are no sew pouches. So we're not gonna be using any thread or anything like that. These are completely no sew. Um, we're gonna be using a glue gun. Um, and these pouches could be used for compact mirrors if you make those. Um, they could be used for 
anything that's small, a small gift, a gift card that you want to give someone, um, whatever you want to do, and you can really make these pouches any size you'd like them as well. Just tailor them to your project and um, have fun with it uh, because there's really no limit to what you can do with them. So what I'm going to do is I've got this piece of felt and it's, it's the, the bumpy side is facing up. And that is usually the side I would use for my uh, my top or my outside of my uh, pouch and then what I'm going to do first I'm going to cut this edge off because it just is going to get in my way I can feel it okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to fit it to my black piece of felt and I'm going to try and line it up down here at this end as best I can and as long as I am covering the edges and the top I want to try and get it as, as straight as I can here and you can see here I've almost got it perfectly straight I'm just gonna edge that over just a tad okay so this is what it looks like now I'm not going to worry about cutting that off right now what I'm going to worry about doing right now is I'm going to take my, my glue and I'm going to start tacking. Oh, time for a new stick. I'm going to start tacking this red fabric down. So I'm going to do this corner first. Okay. And I like the black and red together, um, and it's just going to go perfect with this compact. Um, so I wanted to find something that was black and red, and when I found this heart fabric, I thought, oh my gosh, that's going to be so perfect with this. Um, so I think it's going to look really, really nice when it's done. And so now I'm just going to go all along the edge here and tack it down and as I'm going I'm going to put little dots in the center pieces just to kind of give it that extra hold down in the middle and again I'm using Gorilla Hot Glue and I'm using the, um, the ones that I buy just so that you know when I put the link up I use a mini glue gun this is not a large sized glue gun as you can see, it's very small um, next to my hand. I prefer a mini glue gun. It fits better in my hand, it works better for me, and so that's what I use. I know a lot of you probably use the standard sized glue guns or maybe even the precision, precision glue guns. Uh, but if you do, uh, just know that the link that I'm going to give you is for the narrower um, glue sticks. These are not the standard size glue sticks. So um, if you're going to use the Gorilla Hot Glue, don't use the link that I give you if you use a standard glue gun. Find the glue sticks that are um, wider um, or around so that um, you've got the right size for your glue gun. Okay, so this is all tacked down. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and we're just going to cut along the line here and cut off the excess red fabric here. Okay, and it's easier to do this after you've glued it on than to um, do it before you glue it on. You're actually probably going to get straighter lines doing it this way. Um, unless you have a um, Quilter's pad that you can use a, a, a rolling cutter with, in which case you can get perfectly straight lines every time. Um, I do not have one right now. I did have one, but it just got so old and the blades had cut into it so deeply and so much over the years. It was probably um, at least 10 years old. I'm going to say even older than that, probably closer to 15. 
um, because I bought it years and years ago when my mother-in-law and I were doing a lot of um, rag quilts. And so um, it got a lot of use and it just had seen better days. So it was time to throw it away. I need to buy a new one. Um, but those pads, because they've got the lines in them and the measurements on the outside, they're amazing to use for things like this and things that you need to cut, you know, straight lines on. So even if you're not a sewer and you're just a crafter, it's something that um, I would highly suggest having in your arsenal of tools because they really are great to work with. Okay, so now we've got the red on one side and we've got the black on the other. And I needed to take a drink of my coffee. Um, so what we're going to do is the red is going to be on the outside. So we're going to take it and we're going to fold it and make sure that from here to here it's going to be big enough to hold the compact mirror. So this is what I've got and the compact mirror is going to fit in there just perfectly. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tack the edges down. Oh, oh, gosh, you guys, I almost did this wrong. Oh, boy, I would have been so mad at myself. You have to take it the opposite side. This is going to be the outside when we're done. So you have to, <laughs> you have to make sure that your, your fabric for the outside is facing up. And then you fold it this way, and we're going to tack on the inside here. Oh, I almost messed that up. I would have been so mad at myself, especially in the middle of a video. I'd have had to start my video all over again. Okay, so that's that side. Now we're going to quickly tack the other side down. And we want to let it cool a little bit before we turn it right side out because... If it's too sticky and gooey, it'll come apart and then you'll mess up your seam. And we don't want to do that. Okay. Make sure you get all your little glue strings off of there. Okay, so this, this is how that fits. So this is what it looks like. We've got this side tacked down and this side tacked down and this is going to fit, as you can see, it's going to fit in there perfectly. You need to have that extra space from here to here because you're, you're adding that glue on the inside and you're going, to, you're going to flip it inside or right side out. And you want to have plenty of space once you do that for the compact mirror to fit in. So now we're going to take, take the pouch here and we're going to turn it right side out and we're going to make sure that we get to these corners with our finger, our pointiest finger or whatever finger you want to use, whichever works best for you. And we're going to make sure that it's straight and here we have a nice straight pouch. And this is going to hold together really well, you guys. That Gorilla Hot Glue really does hold well. Um, you know, as long as you're not constantly pulling at it and tugging at it, you're going to have a good, a good piece here that's going to last a bit. Um, and it's going to protect this compact mirror really well in your handbag. So, um, so the next thing that we have to do, if you'll notice here, you can see how... Now this outside piece is a little too big because we took away from these edges so now we have to take away from those edges. So all we're going to do, and we can still feel the lines from that felt, but just, just eyeball it. We're going to take this edge and we're going to cut it off. Usually it's about, I'm going to say it's about a fourth of an inch that you're going to lose from each edge. And just cut it like that. And I usually cut, when I get here, I cut at a downward angle so that I don't have a big piece sticking out there. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And the piece that I'm cutting off is about the same size 
as the um, the the lines in this corduroy. It's about that same size. Sometimes it's a little bit more um, just because you know we might take off a little bit more on the when we glue it together um, down in the bottom section. So again, I'm taking and angling my scissors this way and I'm going to cut that piece off. So we just have these two little strips. Now, I can look at this and I can see this side I didn't get enough off of, so I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut a little bit more down this side. Now, the, th the other thing that I'm noticing as I'm doing this, because we didn't put glue way far in on this, is now we have this opening here. So all we're going to do is we're going to take our hot glue and we're going to go along the edge here and we're going to tack that down. Tack it back down. And if you have any black that sticks out, like we have this tiny little bit, we'll just trim that off. And then this side, I think I'm also going to trim a tiny bit more right here just to get it straightened up a little bit maybe a little bit more from the top Okay, try and get all your little stringies off. And one of the things that I am going to do really quick, I'll be right back. Let me grab my... So nice you guys I have my craft room now um, it's not completely done but um, I do have a craft room um, that I've been working on putting together and and it's almost there but it's a little bit messy right now because I still have things in boxes around that I'm not quite sure where I want them to go but I'm gonna use this this is a little torch that I purchased at a little local store um, and I'm just going to take and kind of go along this edge to get rid of the fraying on this red fabric. Um, depending on the kind of fabric you're using, the felt, you don't have to worry about that because it won't fray um, when you cut it. But the, the cotton fabrics, you definitely have to consider that they may fray. And what you may want to do is fold it over um, a time or two and then glue it down um, and I will show you because I'm going to be cutting part of this end off and I will show you I think I may do that on that portion just to kind of give you an idea of what you would need to do there I probably put too much glue on that side but that's okay Okay, so now this is what we have. We're going to take that, and you see how that kind of hangs down all the way to the edge there? Um, what I'm going to be doing, and normally I would cut this off at about this, this length, and this time I'm going to leave it longer. And the reason that I'm going to do that, um, you know... I was even thinking maybe I'll leave it the entire length. And that way when it opens, this is what you see instead of um, the lace. But, but I do like to cover this portion up too with the lace. So no, I think we're going to go ahead and do it the way that we normally do. So I'm going to take, using these little hearts as my guide... I'm going to take and I'm going to cut this right along this little line of hearts to get a straight cut. 
Okay. So now Yeah, I'm going to fold that over. I'm just going to fold it over one time. I think um, we'll see. Let me fold it over and see um, if I want to do it a second time. Oops. I forgot I needed to glue the, the red down. That's okay. I got it now. Okay. So that's folded over one time. And we're going to fold it over one more time and sort of give it a little bit more finished look. Okay. Okay. And I've got a little bit of glue stuck to me. <clears throat> stuck to my nails. Okay, so that's about where it's going to fall now. I have this one little edge that I'm going to clip off of black felt. There we go. And a little bit right here. And a little bit on this side. Okay. So, there we have that. And that's what it looks like. So now we already have a cute pouch that we could use, you know, for putting this little beauty inside of. Um, but we're going to pretty it up even more. And I'm going to take some of this lace that I have here. And I think I'm going to cut this edge off. I'm going to use that for something else. Um, and then we're going to start placing our lace. Make sure, and I almost did it wrong. I don't know, it just feels like it's on backwards to me. Um, make sure that when you're doing this that you do your lace the shiny side out so that you don't... Um, have the dull side sticking to the outside. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this top piece here and I'm going to put a, a bead of hot glue going down that, that edge there and I'm going to lay this lace right on top of it using the the top line of the lace as my guide and I'm just going to press it down. And there's a couple of little oozes of glue that I'm going to cut off of there. No problem. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to flip it over. Whoopsies. Almost lost my glue gun. And I'm going to take and go around this edge here and get it started going to the back. And then I'm going to go along this little heart line here and start laying down my lace. And here. I'm just going to tack that little piece down. And then this side, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up this edge. And we're going to go along the same lines 
and we're going to go over the top of the other piece of lace just a little bit, just doubling it up a little bit, and then we'll cut this off at this loop. And you'll see we got really lucky because that loop matches up with the other one. Doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes it ends up being off kilter, but that's okay too. Not a really big deal. And now I'm just tacking on the edges there. So this is what we have so far. And lots of little pieces of glue all over the place. This glue, boy. It's just like a spider web. Okay, got a drink of coffee. Now I'm ready to finish. Um, okay, hold on just one second, you guys. I have some other lace that I think I want to use a little piece of. Okay, I just thought of something that I wanted to use. I have this bag, and this is also from Kiki Sale. Um, I have some pretty lace pieces, embellishments, and things, and some of them are smaller, and really what I'm looking for is something small that I want to use on the inside of this. I don't want to use that. Um, maybe that or maybe even a heart. These hearts are really cute. Um, there's a heart. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. Um, definitely not going to use that. Maybe one of those. Not that. Okay, so the rest of these I'm going to get out of the way. Okay. All right. So, we've got a heart. That's a little too big. I don't want to use those wings. I'm thinking maybe something small like this. I just want to put something along this part of the inside because I think it would be really pretty. And I think I'm going to use this small piece of trim to get that effect. We're going to have to cut off these edges here, which is fine. Because it's just a little bit too long. So that's going to fit perfectly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up a little bit and I'm just going to take my glue gun and I'm going to go right along the inside here with a little bead of glue, making sure that I've got the right side up on my lace. Don't forget about that, you guys. I'm going to lay this piece down inside of my pouch and that way I have that little kind of peekaboo thing going on there and I like that but what you want to make sure that you do when you do this is you want to make sure that all these little loose pieces of lace you tack those down because if you don't you may catch your compact on it putting it in and out of the pouch and you don't want to do that and then end up tearing that piece of lace off in the long run so there we go and it's just a little peekaboo piece that we have inside the pouch and it looks really cute 
Um, we could have actually, um, you know what, we might do this. The other thing that I may do, no, nah, I don't think I'm going to do that. I was thinking I might put a piece here and just fold it over and kind of protect that edge, but it just doesn't, it's not doing anything for it. So I think I'm going to leave that edge alone. We'll be fine. Okay, now we're going to take another piece of this beautiful lace. Again, this lace, I remember ladies, I got, or ladies and gentlemen, I should say, I got this from Kiki's Sale. And um, she has, I think she's going to have a whole bunch of this for sale coming up in her next, her next uh, Saturday night function. So um, just be ready because you guys are going to want some of this after you see this finished pouch. And again, this lace is great, not just for these, it's great for when you make altered boxes and things like that, putting around the edges of your boxes. Um, that's what I use it for a lot. Um, and it just embellishes things so beautifully and finishes them off and gives you that kind of shabby chic look that I know a lot of people are looking for when they're altering boxes and things like that. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, I think she's gonna have a bunch of this and I think you're going to want some. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Oops, I missed a little section of glue right there. Okay. We are good. And you'll notice that I'm overlapping the lace a little bit. That gives you a kind of a fluffier look to your lace. And kind of makes it look a little more finished on a piece like this. So I've got it overlapping there. And then I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue on the edges there to um, hold that down. Okay, so there we go. There's the outer portion. And this is when I wish I was kind of going live because then I could have some of you tell me what you think would look nice on this because I'm debating, I'm thinking I may leave this one with the top like this. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna do and maybe just use a tiny piece of some of this finished lace over the top of that and call it a day. I think that will look really cute like that. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, I have some bigger pieces like this and actually that looks really nice too. So maybe we'll go, I think we're going to go with this one. Okay. All right. So making sure that I have the right side down, I'm going to start putting a little bit of glue around on this. And I'm going to start laying it down. And I've got it. You want to make sure that you put the center in the right place. I've got it centered. You don't have long to work with this glue, so you have to make sure that you're <laughs> that you're doing things right the first time. So now we're going to put a little glue on these leaves, these uh, flowers and leaves. I'm leaving that last little section for last because I think I'm going to be folding that back onto the back side. Okay, and now we're going to take this one, or this side I should say, and we're going to tack down these flowers. And get off all that excess glue. And with it folded like this, 
um, I'm going to take these pieces, I'm going to put some glue on them, on these little leaves here, and I'm just going to manipulate them over a little bit. They wouldn't naturally go over, but since I'm gluing it down, it'll go over and I can, I can just sort of manip manipulate it into place. And then this one, we're going to do the same thing on this side. And again, we're going to manipulate it into place. Okay. And then I have a couple of little threads that I want to cut off here. that are sort of sticking out. Sorry about my squeaky chair, you guys. <laughs> my chair is very squeaky. Um, <laughs> but I love it. My daughter-in-law, my future daughter-in-law, gave me her chair from her office desk and I love it. I had a chair here before that was so uncomfortable and um, she came over one day and had that chair with her and gave it to me. And I was super excited about it because it's so, so, so comfortable. And it's a very simple looking chair, but I'll tell you what, it's the most comfortable desk chair I've ever sat in. So um, I feel really lucky that she gave it to me because boy, did I need it. <laughs> so... I think on this little back piece right here, I think I may add, no, you know what, uh, let's see, what sort of trims do I have here? I've got this little baggie of trims and unfortunately none of these, well that's not red, but it does have a color that's kind of close to red in it, so this might actually work. I think I'm going to use some of this. Um, so I'm going to put a little piece of this across here. Yes. And we're just going to cut it off right there. And I'm going to put a little bead of hot glue across there. and lay those little flowers down. And you know, these little trims like this, they're really pretty, they look good on the project, and they also help to cover up any little slight imperfections that you might have in your project. If you've got something that you feel like, oh gosh, you wish you hadn't done this this way or whatever, um, you know, you can change that stuff up just by adding a little bit of um, an embellishment piece. And this is, little embroidered flowers and they're super pretty and I also got these from you you heard it Kiki sale um, <laughs> so they're just super pretty uh, I just want to make sure I get the right side up and we're putting glue on that and I'm actually going to lay it right across the middle and we're going to layer those flowers and that looks really really pretty okay I'm not going to use any more of this though because I only have a little bit left so I want to sort of save it for another project um, so that's all of that that I'm going to use and these little things can go in my drawer here. I have this handy dandy drawer right next to me now that I can just kind of drop things as I'm working on my projects into them and get them out of my way, which is really, really nice. Okay, so. Now that we've got that part done, I'm wondering, I have this really pretty pearls and it's got pearls and rhinestones on it and this was given to me by my friend 
um, D and I'm just going to leave it at that and she sent me some really gorgeous gorgeous trims and oh my gosh she sent me so many beautiful things that I was just um, I couldn't believe it she sent me a bunch of these trims she sent me some um, just all kinds of blingy pieces. She sent me boxes and, and things to alter and just a, a ton of really great stuff. And she's just been a really great friend to me, um, especially through, you know, with my mom being sick. And, you know, she was always there to kind of talk to you. And, and um, you know, we would just, I'd be up late at night and we'd talk crafts or whatever. And, and she was just always there. To talk to and I really appreciate my friendship with her we have not been friends for a real long time but let me tell you in a short period of time we've gotten to know each other and become great friends so um, I think that's awesome and let's see I think this piece I'm going to put down at the bottom As just another kind of highlight piece and some of you may be saying oh my gosh she's going way too far but I am the bling queen and I love my bling and the more the merrier so I can tend to you know really put a lot on there when I'm doing something like this but honestly it does not look like too much to me and then we're going to put another piece of this just kind of going around down here towards the bottom. And that will be it. So I'm just going to take a bead of hot glue and go across there. And we're going to lay that across. I'm going to leave a little piece hanging out because I want it to go around to the back side. And now we'll just take this and come around to the back. I don't know how far I need to go, so. <laughs> I almost put enough. Just missed that one last little piece of pearls. Okay, and then I'm going to figure this out and cut this piece off and put the, oops, sorry guys, that was my scissors going to the floor. And we're going to lay these down. And so I can't tell you where this came from, you guys, because this was gifted to me in Happy Mail. So um, unfortunately, I do not have the link for where this came from, um, but it sure is pretty. If you can see it there, it's got pearls and rhinestones. So, so pretty. Okay, the next thing we're going to do on this is we're going to put a piece of bling on it, and we just need to decide what what bling we want and where we want it to go. Um, let's see. Um, I think I'm going to take one of these flowers, even though it's not red. Well, maybe we'll use one of these. Yeah, I think we will. And we one this color. Okay. So those actually look really pretty on there. Not going to use that. 
And then maybe we'll take this. Uh... Yep, I think this is what we're going to do. We're not even going to use any of those really big pieces of bling this time. Um, unless I decide to put something down there once we're done. But right now we're going to take these flowers. Also flowers that I got from Debbie Cottrell. <laughs> she has just given me so much wonderful stuff. I can't tell you guys. Um, she's been amazing to me as well um, through the whole process of taking care of my mom and kind of knowing what I was going through because she lost her mom at one point and she kind of knew how I was feeling and there were times when I was okay and there were times when I was just really really down and sad and all of that and um, even now that my mom has passed away she's just been really great when you know and I've had those moments where I just want to sit down and have a good cry, which I do. Um, I know it's healthy to do that, so I do, on occasion, have myself a good cry um, because I do really miss my mom. Um, but uh, Debbie's kind of been there for me and coached me through it and reminded me that everything's going to be okay. You know, it's it's going to get easier. I know. Um, but, you know, we never stop missing our moms either once they go. So, okay, so there is our pouch. And I'm trying to decide, should I put something there? The butterfly is kind of pretty. Or maybe that piece. I'm not crazy about the way that looks necessarily. Or we could go with a crown, but no, that just gets lost in it. I don't know. That green butterfly looks kind of pretty on there. What do you think? I'm thinking maybe, maybe, maybe. Now this is the compact that's going to go in there. I don't know. Maybe I should go with the red butterfly. Since there is no green in the compact. Okay. We're going to go with the red butterfly, you guys. I've made up my mind. Um, that's what's going to go in there. So let me put some um, E6000 around on the outside of this. Or on the underbelly, I should say. I'm almost out of E6000 in this tube. I'm trying to use the last little bit of it up before I open up another tube. Um... And then a little bit of hot glue in a couple of places. Just to make sure it sticks down while it's drying. And we're going to lay that right in the middle there. And I'm going to press, 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 press and hold that down giving the hot glue a chance to cool off and stick. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take these little dots and we're going to put those um, underneath here. Whoopsie. Part of that started to stick. We're going to put um, that under here so that it sticks when you close it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the loopy piece, which is the, the scratchy piece, and we're going to put some hot glue on that. We're going to lay that in the center of the top piece. And then the other piece, the soft piece here, what we're going to do is we're going to stick that down onto the loopy piece because we want these to match per perfectly when it closes. The best way to do that is to close it up Put your glue on here and then lay it down. 
and press. And that way you know it's going to be lined up perfectly. Mm -mm, coffee. Okay, and the last thing you're going to want to do is to go around and maybe check to make sure that all of your, your strings are clipped. If you have any extra little pieces of string sticking out and all of that but this is your finished pouch it came out super duper pretty get over to kiki sale get some of this lace again this is the it's white lace and this is this is what it looks like this is the pattern and i'm trying to remember what exactly this pattern is um, I will put it in my link down below um, for Kiki Sale. I will uh, list this lace and what she calls it on her page uh, under the sale so that you know which one to buy because she also has that and she has some Venice lace. So um, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to open that up. Take off any little excess pieces of glue that are stuck in here that black felt you can see any glue that's kind of laying across it really well so um, you want to make sure you get all of that off of there there's a little piece in this corner that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get let's see being so that it's felt sometimes you can cut that little top layer off of it <laughs> and you're still safe Okay, and we have a little piece right here that we're going to get off of there. Okay, and here we're going to put our compact mirror in there. You can see it, it slides in perfectly. So here's the compact. See how nicely it goes with this pouch? It fits in there beautifully and the compact also has a little butterfly on it so the butterfly theme is was a good choice and there we have it you guys a beautiful compact in a beautiful beautiful case or pouch and um, here's the other one that I did that I was showing you at the beginning so these are the two uh, that I recently made. The compacts I, I've had made for a little while. And this compact, you guys, I've got to tell you, this is one of the prettiest I've ever made. And it's got a clock theme to it. And it's a double-sided, it's a double-sided compact mirror. Absolutely gorgeous and it is in my shop for sale so if you're interested in buying that um, now it has a beautiful pouch to go with it so um, get in there and check it out and see if that's something you might want to get as a gift for somebody for christmas you never know thanks a lot for watching you guys um and for those of you who are not subscribed to my channel please um Make sure and hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps out my channel. We're trying to grow the channel um, so that I can provide you with more uh, tutorials on some of the great things that I've been making. And um, also hit the notification bell so that you'll get notified when I put out new videos. I'm putting this one out and I'm going to be putting out a couple of other ones too. So um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing and have a blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.